You, madam? Yes. yes. I've been phenomenal. Thank you, sir. A talented girl, but unfortunately, due to the circumstances, it's not fair to continue. I mean, this experience meant so much to me, so much to my family. I'm sorry Daddy gave us his best, but I swear to God, I'll make it up to you. Eliminations are never easy on this show, except for the pieces of work that really deserve it. But today, I want to talk about the ones that really broke my heart. Just like this time, when one contestant literally begged Ramsey for another chance. So let's talk about what happened in Season 12, Episode 9. The red team had singled out Jessica as the weakest chef, and pitted her against Richard in the Cook for Your Life challenge. But in spite of the odds against her, she was determined to prove her team wrong and knock out all three dishes. But when the challenge began, things took a turn as Jessica started to add pepper to the risotto. And that pepper might have cost her her place in the competition. However, Joy intervened just in time and snapped her out of it. She also reminded her that you don't sprinkle something black into a dish that's supposed to be all white. That's what white pepper's for. But that's not all. Jessica even asked her teammates their opinions about pouring wine into her risotto. But sadly, the men's team shut her down and reminded her that it was against the rules to ask for help. Well, it was a tough competition, and she started to feel the heat of it before long. Hey, 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 hey. hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. We didn't say nothing, so worry about blue. But even before she found her footing, Jessica accidentally dropped the halibut, causing it to fall apart. Thinking quickly, she popped another piece of toast on top and slid it right back into the oven. The pressure was really getting to her. I want this so bad. I don't want to go home. This is my opportunity of a lifetime. And even before the judgment began, Jessica was on edge, determined to avoid elimination. She was the first contestant to present her dish to Ramsay, and as it turns out, her scallops were beautifully cooked. Although the onions weren't so lucky. As for the risotto, it just didn't make an impression. Taking it off the heat just 30 seconds earlier would have saved it from becoming a disaster. And if that wasn't enough of a mess on its own, she left a toothpick in the lobster tail. Thankfully, Ramsey wasn't in his worst mood, and despite all the issues leading up to it, her halibut was beautifully seasoned. And Ramsey recognized it. This turn of events brought a little bit of hope back. Oh my god, I'm so relieved. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna so win. Jessica was determined to stay, and Richard's subpar performance fueled her confidence even further. And just like she expected, Ramsey was impressed that she managed to pull off all those dishes all by herself. But nothing prepared her for the final result. During the elimination round, things took a drastic turn. When Jessica got the boot for serving undercooked lobster and overcooked halibut, she was so shocked by the result that she simply couldn't believe it. Please. You did please, exceptionally please. well. No, no, please. She pleaded with Ramsey to give her one more shot, which broke my heart. And I doubt I'm alone in that. <laughs> so pepper. However, Ramsey stood his ground, praising her as a strong competitor who had performed exceptionally well. But he had one last important tidbit to share. And you must continue with that kind of attitude, the passion, and the love you have for food. Eventually, Jessica had to accept her fate and concede to the defeat. Please give me your jacket. <laughs> but if you thought all of that was heartbreaking, then her exit interview was even worse. She was inconsolable. She felt crushed that her dream had been pulled out from under her. All the while, well, she thought she deserved to stay. However, the decision was made, despite how much I hoped it would have gone the other way. But this season 13 contestant was robbed, at least according to viewers, thanks to an early elimination. I didn't expect to get eliminated tonight because people have done way worse in this competition than I have. This is all I wanted to do. So during the Italian night dinner service, Ashley was handling the fish station to the best of her ability. But she had to redo her tagliatelle because of Rose Miss mistake. It's fucking blue. Yes, Hurry sir. up. Yes, sir. Use your brain. Ashley was so annoyed that she dropped a sarcastic comment about her over it. Everything was going great, and now I'm having to refire. So 
Thanks for that, bro. While Ashley decided to let bygones be bygones and made up her mind to start fresh, something crazy happened. One dish seems to be leaving the dining room and making its way back to the kitchen. This is the Italian console. Two broti, calamari raw, lack of flavor. Oh no. This time, her dish was sent back because it was raw, and Ramsay wasn't pleased. What in the f is going on? Any ideas now? All of you, get out. Well, maybe displeased is selling it a bit short. It didn't come as a shock that both teams were declared joint losers. Each of the teams had to pick their nominees for elimination. And that's when Sade and Latasha thought Ashley was the weakest link. But Ashley wasn't about to become a sacrificial lamb. I want to be here. She made it clear that her main goal in the competition was just to work with Ramsey. The $250,000 prize wasn't even in the picture to her. But that didn't stop her from landing on the chopping block alongside her partner in crime, Ro. And together, they were up against Aaron and Steve from the blue team. When it was time to make her plea, Ashley brought out everything she had. All I want to do is work for you and with you. I mean, granted, my mistakes are terrible, but I will work Fish Station every single day to fix my mistake. She was determined to work harder, but her grit wasn't enough to sway Ramsey. The mess up at the consulate table was too big to ignore. That one mistake had gotten the red team kicked out of the kitchen and eventually sealed her fate and a lot of people were feeling emotional when she walked out. Chef Ramsey obviously just thought that I wasn't good enough. And that's a terrible feeling. For someone who wore this poker face throughout the show, there was no sign of it in the exit interview. She was literally bawling her eyes out, saying all that she ever wanted was to cook with Ramsey, and how it stung to know that he didn't think she was up to the task. If you ask me, I'd choose Ro and Steve, who were both nominated for a second time in a heartbeat over her. But hey, it's Ramsey's Kitchen, not mine. However, this next elimination got me thinking. To me, Curtis's elimination was a real gut punch. I mean, the dude wasn't even nominated. What's even more heartbreaking is that he was assigned to a station he clearly struggled with. I tried my best. At least like some motherfuckers, at least I fucking tried. The guy couldn't make decent sushi to save his life. Fat, 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 fat. Look at that there. Look at that. Look. Three huge rolls and a mm. tiny piece? I mean, come on. Plus, his plate wasn't exactly the definition of clean. And thanks to all that, Ramsey had to send out an incomplete table of appetizers. A couple of hours later, Curtis sent up more poorly cut sushi that was missing the wasabi. Ramsey was clearly losing his patience. Go out of here! Don't tell me to f off. Man, f that. Eventually, the blue team ended up losing. And when Ramsey asked Curtis what went wrong, he admitted there was no excuse for his poor performance. And that was all that Ramsey needed to send him packing. In his exit interview, Curtis was crushed. I mean, this experience meant so much to me, so much to my family. I'm sorry Daddy gave it his best, but I swear to God, I'll make it up to you. He was literally tearing up and apologizing for letting his family down. To make the situation even more heartbreaking, Rob had multiple opportunities to step in and lend him a hand during the service. Unlike other compassionate competitors such as Petroza or Ariel, who willingly supported their struggling teammates, Rob made the decision not to assist Curtis. You know, I could slide over and help, but uh, that's not my problem. Let him sink. It was selfish as hell and made Curtis's elimination that much worse. What's infuriating, though, is how Vinny was spared despite sabotaging Raj, especially considering their disastrous performance during the dinner service. But if we want to talk unfair eliminations, it'd be a crime not to mention this one. Jihoon Cha experienced one of the worst prep blunders in Hell's Kitchen history in episode two. Oh, are you okay, G? I nearly felt her pain when she burned herself with the hot oil like that. Despite it, though, she bravely decided to push through and continue her prep work. Jeez. She's definitely made of stronger stuff than me, that's for sure. 
When the service was about to start, she finally mustered up the courage to inform Ramsay about her injury. However, she was determined to soldier on and expressed her desire to participate in the service in spite of it. During the dinner service, G held her ground at the garnish station. Her team, and especially Paula, were concerned about her, and even checked on her mid-service. But G insisted on focusing on the task in front of her. Her determination really impressed LA, but sadly, the red team ended up losing that night. After the service, G hobbled to the back hall to see the medic, and trust me, it wasn't pretty. I need to elevate my foot because I heard it. I need to put it on ice. Given the situation, poor G felt like a burden to the rest of her team. But her teammates had her back. G, you're not going home. I feel like yeah. a burden to you guys. And no way. I We're a team, and you are a strong That's member of this team. G, you're going to be fine in a couple days, girl. During the lineup, G showed up in a wheelchair to ease the weight on her ankle. Despite her condition, Ramsey was shocked to see her determination. Courageous effort on one foot, and clearly in a lot of pain. Thank you, Chef. She really earned those encouraging comments from Ramsey. Now, since the red team had lost, they had to nominate two people for elimination. But G wasn't nominated. And believe me, I wouldn't want to kick her while she was down either. Colleen and Lacey were awaiting Ramsey's final decision when G decided to speak up. Chef? Chef? G? G had already made up her mind. It's an honor to work with you in your kitchen, Chef but I'd like to volunteer. I feel that I'm half a manpower in, the, in your kitchen, Chef. She announced that she was leaving Hell's Kitchen on her own terms. She thought her injury might hold the women back, so she volunteered to go, despite her team arguing that she was far better than the contestants that were nominated. But Ramsey respected her decision and allowed her to back out of the competition. What's more, he was deeply moved by her incredible performance and made sure to praise her for it. You, madam, yes, have been phenomenal. Thank you, chef. A talented girl, but unfortunately, due to the circumstances, it's not fair to continue. And the best part? Ramsey asked her to keep her jacket as a token of his respect. It was really bittersweet as she left, all the while hoping the red team would do well without her. She was clearly upset about leaving, but knew it was the right thing to do, considering her injury, both for her team and for herself. It was really tough to see her dreams cut short, though, just because of an errant bit of hot oil. But here comes a contestant who left even more people in tears. So during dinner service, Sterling was tackling the fish station. He tried Rose scallop countdown trick, but those scallops were still coming out raw. He swore he'd do better, but his next attempt? Well, it didn't go so well. Ramsey suggested switching stations, but Sterling wasn't up for it. After a team huddle, Jennifer called him out, saying that he was pulling a Frank, but he argued his case. On his last shot, the scallops were yet another disaster, so he finally swapped places with Roe. Ramsey decided to give him a pep talk and ordered him to keep pushing. However, when the chefs lined up, Ramsey had something to share. But I know that you're not ready to be my next head chef. Well, he was a hell of a competitor, but his fish game was weak. Ramsey believed that Sterling wasn't ready to be a head chef, and so he sent him packing right there and then. The other chefs were bummed, but Sterling took it like a champ. Ramsey gave him props for being a great presence in the kitchen, and guess what? I want you to keep your jacket. <laughs> Thank you. And let that be a reminder of what you've achieved in this competition. Thank you so much. Yep. He let him keep his jacket as a reminder of his journey, and the gesture really made him emotional. Before he headed back to the dorms to pack, Sterling hugged it out with Ramsey and the rest of the crew. God, I love to see the show get wholesome. Can I hug everybody before I go? Whatever you want. All right, man, I'm gonna miss y'all, yeah, okay? I'm gonna miss you too. I love all y'all, okay? 100 is no longer part of Hell's Kitchen, but I learned a whole lot. He even dropped a cool line, saying he might not have won the title, but he won Ramsey's heart instead, which had to have been a first. What's more, instead of storming out dramatically, Sterling walked out with nothing but the utmost grace. Just a hell of a guy. 
But here comes a contestant whose departure even managed to touch Ramsey's heart. Joyce quitting was one of the most shocking things I've ever experienced in Hell's Kitchen. But before that, why don't you take a moment and hit this tab right here to become a member of the channel? From exciting surprises to a bunch of cool perks, there's a lot in store for you. What's more, my channel's Discord server is the place to be to keep the discussion going. And guess what? It's free! And if you're someone who's looking for something extra, I got an exclusive server just for you. With that out of the way, let's head back to the service, which started out on a good note. If you ask me, I think Joy was rocking the fish station. Ramsey had faith in her too. Like, after Melanie messed up her dish, Ramsey sought out Joy's opinion specifically, and she didn't hold back. Frank Cavallini's missing that lime, that butter, that cilantro. It was missing everything. When it came to the entrees, she was coordinating with Rochelle and Jason on the timing. But in the heat of the moment, she jumped the gun on the halibut even though Rochelle needed an extra minute for her Wellingtons. This time, Ramsey was on her case, reminding her that the sauce had to come first, and he wasn't about to pause the service to accommodate her. Sometimes, all it takes is one mistake. Soon, she was juggling multiple tasks with the fish at the same time. Thankfully, her second attempt passed Ramsey's scrutiny and made its way out of the kitchen. But on the next order, she didn't provide Rochelle with a clear time and Ramsey was upset seeing her backslide like that. Guys, we can go two minutes with this chicken? No. Three minutes? Told Joy! Sometime later, when Ramsey asked about the garnish's timing, Jason requested 90 seconds, but she impulsively sent the halibut to the pass anyway. I need the garnish for the halibut before the halibut. Like, what happened, Joy? Ramsey emphasized the importance of the garnish preceding the halibut, and it was surprising to actually see him patiently explain that to her in spite of the service still going. I would like the garnish for the halibut before the halibut. Chef, I just- Yes or no? Wanna pick an argument? I'm ready. Can I finish cooking, Chef? However, she only responded with more attitude, even walking away from Ramsey. And what do you think Ramsey did? Well, he wasn't going to take it, that's for sure. He sternly warned her not to let her bad mood affect his food. But you won't believe what Joy did. I'm done. You're done. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Joy, stop. I'm done with this. I can't believe she gave up so easily. And even though Rochelle and Melanie pleaded with her not to quit, she removed her jacket and headed back to the dorms to pack her bags. But that wasn't the end of it. Ramsey actually followed her, criticizing her selfish attitude and for giving up over a single mistake. And what followed was an intense argument, with accusations flying from both sides. No, you're not telling me. No, you're not. You're arguing. You're arguing. You're shouting. Hey, I know you're done. It shows in your cooking. Get out. Unbelievable. All she did was shout that she was done and stormed upstairs, while Ramsey coldly remarked that her lack of commitment reflected in her cooking. Back in the dorms, Joy packed her clothes, feeling overwhelmed by Ramsey's reaction. When a confused sous chef Andy questioned her about it, Joy tried to explain herself. I'm not giving you attitude, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what it is. I but sous chef Andy reminded her that Ramsey wasn't really acting out of character. Joy acknowledged that the competition had brought out an ugly side of her, but sous chef Andy emphasized that Ramsey's tough approach was because he wanted the best from them. Joy realized she had squandered a golden opportunity and felt lost about what to do next. And she was completely torn about her next move. I need to tell Chef Ramsey, I apologize wholeheartedly. I need just one more chance. Let me prove myself. That's the only way I'll be able to redeem myself. However, she doubted her confidence to do so and ultimately decided against it, believing it was too little too late. Anyway, in her exit interview, she received a retrospective montage of her time on the show, culminating in the portrait burning sequence. Five out of five. Thank you, sir. I made a best friend while I was here. Get off me, Mississippi, your old country ass. <laughs> in the end, Ramsey just commented saying Joy's decision to quit was one of the most surprising moments in Hell's Kitchen history. Her lack of maturity tonight showed she isn't ready to be a head chef, as true leaders never give up.
So, which of these contestants do you think was robbed the worst? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications. Also, if you thought this video was crazy, then make sure to check out the next post right here. It's even better.